powerful religion was transmitted from India to China along the Silk Road. This was Buddhism. The Chinese government built a great monastery on the outskirts of the Eastern Han capital, Luoyang, to accommodate the holy Indian guests and to start the propagation of Buddhist teachings. The historical Bai Ma Si Monastery in Luoyang attracts Buddhist monks and tourists from all over Asia till this day. The first among the enterprising monks ready to come to India was Fahim, who began his journey in 399 AD. After crossing Central Asia, he reached northwestern India in 402 AD. Settling at Patliputra, Patna, he intensively studied early Sanskrit Buddhist sutras. The account that Fahim has left of his travels in India is a valuable record of Buddhism. The Sino-Indian Buddhist connection was responsible for the joint creation of Mahayanism, a form of Buddhism. China's most famous martial arts tradition, or Kung Fu, was developed by a prominent Indian monk, Bodhidharma. Bodhidharma came from a Kshatriya family in South India. Therefore, the roots of Shaolin martial arts can be traced to Kalari Payatu, the martial art form of Kerala. While China learned how to manufacture sugar from India, the technique of turning red molasses into white sugar migrated from China to India. Thus, the word Chini indicates a Chinese origin. Exports to India consisted of cloth, alum, camphor, pepper, sugar, sugar candy, and china wood, while imports included raw cotton, ivory, sandalwood, silver, and opium. This country trade accounted for 30% of the total British trade at Canton between 1764 and 1800. The China Bhavan at Shantiniketan in Calcutta drew a lot of Chinese families to India in the late 1930s. This led to the formation of a fairly large Chinese community in northeastern India. This community has grown rapidly over the years and has peacefully coexisted and very easily assimilated the Indian culture. Chinese leaders like Sun Yat-sen maintained close contacts and established cooperation with well-known Indian revolutionaries. Independent India was the second country to establish diplomatic ties with and recognize communist China. Both countries stand ready to strengthen economic cooperation and exchanges with each other. Both countries have realized the full potential of their partnership.